Hey everybody, we are out and about today. We have no power, no internet, no nothing. They are working on it. So, one of my daughters in love asked if I could meet somebody that she is buying something off of Marketplace from. I said, of course I can. Have nothing better to do but sit here in the dark with no heat. So, we are out and about. We're going to go do a little bit of thrift shopping. There are a few things that I need to look for. Um, as y'all know, I am doing our grown children. I'm doing them a homemade basket. A basket full of homemade things. I'm not actually making the basket. Uh, so, I need to find the containers for this. The baskets themselves. Y'all, I'm having a terrible time. So I thought we'd go thrifting, see what we can find while we're kind of waiting around for the meetup time with this person that we're supposed to meet up with to pick this item up for my daughter in love. And I decided while I'm out, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to do our grocery haul for the next two weeks. Y'all, I am not even fighting the Christmas crowd. I'm not. I am not. I am not. Next Thursday, I think it is, is Pat's last day at work until after the first of the year. So, I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to just, I'm just going to do it. We are going to go to Dollar Tree. We are going to go to uh, Walmart and to United Grocery Outlet or Grocery Outlet whatever this one is over here we're in the big metropolis of Dayton Tennessee Woo so I thought I'd bring y'all along with me y'all can shop with us and have a little fun with us let's get this Christmas stuff done once and for all because I'm telling you I am NOT coming back out I am NOT I'm going I'm going to stay out today until I get it all done. I am not coming back out. The closer it gets to Christmas, the more stupid it gets and the more annoying it gets. I am not dealing with it. I am not. I am not. So, we grabbed a little snack, a little lunch. Y'all, we've been, you know, cooking all of our meals at home and stuff like that. And I'm going to be honest with you. We grabbed a little snack at McDonald's. And this is really one of the first times that we've eaten out in almost two months. Okay? It tasted horrible. Like, it, it just... There is such a difference between home-cooked food and this processed food, fast food, that they're putting out there. Ooh. Ooh. Of course, somebody back there still loves it. But it just, I've got to where I don't even have a taste for it anymore. It's just, there's a difference. And I would prefer my home cooked food over this. So, there's just that big of a difference. Anyway, we were sitting here having lunch. We're getting ready to go into Goodwill see what they've got so yeah there's several different thrift stores down here so let's go in let's see what they got you ready I'm not to eat it. it'll be a few minutes so let's go shopping <laughs>
right, y'all, we are done in Goodwill. We found some pretty cool stuff, a few deals, and now we're gonna head on over to another thrift store called We Care. We Care. And we're gonna check it out. I also found out that there is a new discount grocery store down here, a salvage store. So we may go visit it. Just saying. He got a dinosaur. So on to the next. We found the salvage food store. So we're gonna go in here and check this one out and see what all they've got and how it compares to our grocery outlet. So let's go in and check it out. worth going in that little store. Totally worth it. Um, just kind of looked around, took some videos, and we were getting ready to leave, and there were big boxes of apples sitting there. I don't know what kind they are. Doesn't matter. And the lady said, if you'd like a box of those apples, they're free. Please take your box. And I said, really? <laughs> she said, yeah, they're free. Go ahead and take them. And y'all, I about, I about cried. I really, really did. Oh, and she gave me some candy. She gave him some candy. So we walked away with a free box, and I know the lighting is horrible. Sorry. We walked away with a free box of apples from the apple orchard that we normally go to. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but I'm going to figure that out. I love apples. We love apples. We munch on apples every evening. That is kind of like our bedtime snack. And I don't know what I'm going to do with all these, but y'all, that just touched my heart that, you know, they were giving away apples and there were probably I don't know, about seven or eight more boxes sitting there for people to just come in and, and pick up if they want or need them. And so yeah, we have a big box of apples. We do. And you know what? I didn't even open them up. I, I didn't even look at them. I just I picked up a box and I brought it out to the car and I put it in the car. No questions asked, and I'm just going to be thankful for what we got. And uh, yeah, so we'll look at them when we get home, and I'll show y'all what all we got while we were out today. 
I'll show you the apples. I know it's a heavy box. <laughs> I know it's a heavy box. So, yay. Totally worth going there. We will be going back when it's time to do our stock up at the first of the year. We will be going back and shopping there. did not have my milk they had two percent but they didn't have three the whole milk they didn't have the three percent either <laughs> so we're gonna run walmart is right behind us we're gonna run over here to walmart and grab a couple of things and then we will visit oh that drives me insane we will visit another Dollar Tree. There's two more on the way home. So, let's go to Walmart. Y'all, it is already way too people out here. I am not even kidding. Uh, every place that we've been to, thrift stores, grocery stores, doesn't matter, Walmart, Dollar Tree, Y'all, they're full. It is a Tuesday afternoon. Okay? And these places are full already. I'm looking out for gamuks. <laughs> I am not... Oh, it's a gamuk! It's a gamuk! Okay. He found a gamuk. GMC. Aha. Uh -huh. A parking spot. Let's grab it. Before anybody else just pulled in. <laughs> oh, Lord, y'all. I don't know if I want to deal with this or not, but I know I have to. We got to get these groceries and stuff, y'all. Right right All right, can you unbuckle? Hey, can you unbuckle? Yep. Let's go do Walmart. So, just as I thought, this place is packed. So, I'm grabbing what's on my list that I have to get in here and we're getting out of Dodge. I ain't dealing with the Moe's.
Somebody explain to me why somebody would open a bag of fries and leave them like that. Seriously, what'd they do? Stick a handful in their pocket so they can put them in the oven when they get home? Come on, y'all. We gotta do better than this. This is our Goodwill haul. I thought I'd break this up because there's quite a bit of stuff here from several different places. So this is from Goodwill. I love these and I thought they would be really cute to put Christmas candy or use as serving trays or whatever we wanted to use them for. So there's that one and then there is a rectangular one. How cute! And then the Santa's belly big charger plate. I love that. I love that. That is going to be super cute and I can't wait to use that on Christmas. Anytime I find anything like this, I always check the price and most of the time grab it if it's at a decent price because y'all, these are expensive and I am all the time looking for new ones to put stuff in for the pantries. I will get this one washed up and I... I'll be sure to have it filled up here within the next day or so. And then over here, Aiden got two shirts. He got this one here. It's just like a little baseball shirt with three-quarter sleeve sleeves on it. Um, and then this one is just a fleece, and he liked it. He actually picked this one out himself, and it's got the blue navy blue sleeves and the green and that was what we picked up at goodwill uh, at goodwill yesterday we spent 13 dollars and 60 oh there is one other thing he got a dinosaur and it's a good size dinosaur it didn't have a price on it so the lady let him have it for 99 cents so he was tickled um, but yeah, we spent $13.61 at Goodwill and walked out with all of this plus a dinosaur. This is our haul from the We Care Thrift Store. Again, I found another one of these. Y'all, these are like $11, $12 at Walmart. And I paid $1.50 for it. So, winner, winner, I will take that. This here I got for one of my daughters in love. She is putting together a present for one of her family members. And I found this for $3. And so I grabbed that for her. So technically speaking, I only spent $1.50 at We Care. And that's what I got. So there's that. This is our Dollar Tree haul. Y'all still haven't found my milk, so we're going to try. I hit three Dollar Trees yesterday and still haven't found my milk. So we're going to try a fourth one today up next to where Pap works. So hopefully. But for this one, I got another pack of the Scotch Tape because you can never have enough of this. And Aiden tends to find this quite often. And... Yeah, he uses it for his projects. So we got that. I got a pack of the Cinnamon Raisin Bagels. Y'all, these are good. Like, they're really soft. I like these. And there's only four to a pack. But that's fine with me for a buck twenty-five. Uh, yeah. I mean, have you seen the prices in the stores lately? So I like them. I get them. I like them. And I need... Quick, easy breakfast for this week because we're doing the candy. We're doing a whole lot of things. So, yeah, got those. And these are the baskets that I chose to put my adult kids Christmas things in, I guess you could say. I don't know. I, it's not fancy or anything like that, but y'all, we're not fancy. Um... We're just not, again, we're simple folk, and we like simple things, and, you know, we, we just can't do 
fancy this year. We just can't. So these were $1.25 a piece. I am going to fill them full of breads and candies and canned goods and all the things. And that's what they're going to get for Christmas this year. So I went ahead and picked those up. What you're not seeing here is Aiden also ha had to have <laughs> a set of reindeer ears. So, yeah, I don't have those here. He took off with those, wearing them through the house last night. So, at Dollar Tree, I spent $9.56. Now, remember, this does include tax, okay? It does include tax. And our tax rate, it varies by county. And it's anywhere from nine and a quarter to nine and three quarter percent. So, yeah, it is also included in my totals. All right, on to the next. And last but not least, we've got Walmart. So, uh, produce, I only got potatoes. I got 15 pounds of potatoes. They had them on sale on a pretty good markdown. So I went ahead and got a 5-pound bag and a 10-pound bag. They only had this one 10-pound bag, or I would have gotten two. And it might have got dropped carrying it in last night, but that's okay. Back here, I got a can of just canned biscuits. And y'all, I'm going to do a video with the recipe with those so you guys will want to stick around to see that i got the 24 ounce of sour cream going to use that quite a bit i got a small thing of heavy whipping cream i was excited when i saw this i needed creamer okay i needed creamer they did not have the creamer neither one of the creamers that i like but I've been wanting to try this. And y'all, they had on markdown $2.75 for that. So I went ahead and grabbed it. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm excited to. Uh, I am excited to. We'll see if I like it. If not, that's okay. It was on markdown, and I got it to try. We got some pineapple orange banana juice. Y'all, we love this stuff. And it's been a while since we got any of that. So, we're going to be drinking that at breakfast or whenever Aiden wants it over the next few days. This was also on markdown. Okay, y'all already know I love this eggnog. And they had the smaller ones for $2 or they had this big old half gallon for $4. So, guess which one I came home with. <laughs> just you know uh yeah i have got a recipe that i want to use a little bit of this for paps is kind of arguing with me on that <laughs> he doesn't want to give up any of it but yeah y'all i i love this stuff and i probably should have got more but as y'all know i'm on a budget so trying to be a good girl I got a family pack of Oreos. I've got a recipe that I'm going to be using those for. Hopefully, we will get to making those or that recipe tomorrow. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. I got another pack of paper towels. Y'all, I cannot wait <sighs> until all this is over with so I can get my paper towels stocked back up. And then Aiden needed some a, a new toothbrush. So he picked these out himself. And that's what he got. <laughs> I, they got little suction cups there at the bottom. I see toothpaste slung everywhere in my near future. Just saying. All right, there is my Walmart haul. And we will... Come back with the total here in just a minute. Last but not least, I got this bushel box of beautiful golden delicious apples. Look at there. These are the ones that I got for free. 
at the salvage store. Super blessed, y'all. Super blessed. There's one that's got a bad spot, but the rest of them are just beautiful. Now, these are from the orchard that we normally go to, so I know these are good apples. All right, y'all. So, we had a really good time yesterday out and about. It was unexpected, but I'm glad we went ahead and got it all taken care of. <laughs> Y'all, the Christmas crazy has already started out there. And I am not about that life. I am not. I enjoy my peace. I enjoy my quiet. Well, what little bit of quiet I get. Yeah, no, no. Um, while we were waiting on the lady, to meet the lady that had the item for my daughter in love, we were sitting in the Food City parking lot, and y'all, there was no parking spots at all. Like, the parking lot was completely full for the whole little shopping center that's there. There's a Food City, uh, the, one of the thrift stores that we went to is there. Um, there is a dollar, some kind of dollar store, maybe Dollar General, Family Dollar, I don't know for sure, but there's a dollar store in there, and y'all, there was no parking anywhere. None. So, yeah, it's already started, okay? <laughs> it's already started. Anyway, so here's what we had, okay? I had 20, about $25 and a little bit of change left on my Walmart gift card. Thank you again to, you know who you are. So I had about $25 and change left on there. We're just going to round it up to $25. I did my $50 budget, $25 a week for two weeks because I am not fighting that Christmas crowd. Not going to happen. So I had $50 there. There's $75. And then I had right at $5 left from last week's grocery haul. It was only $20 and change. So, I had about $5. So, we're going to call it $80 that I had, okay? We're going to call it $80 on my budget. I spent $49.55 at Walmart um, and at Dollar Tree. Those are combined, okay? <clears throat> at Walmart, I spent $39.99. And then it was $9.56 at Dollar Tree for a grand total of $49.55. And then when you add on what I spent at the thrift stores, the $13 and $1.50, I am not counting the $3 that I spent on my daughter-in-law's gift to her family member. Um, that is not for me, okay? Uh, then it comes up to a grand total of spending $64.20 yesterday, and I got all that stuff. I am counting that as a huge, huge win, and that leaves me with a total of $15.80 that I have left in my budget. I've still not found the milk. Paps is going to go by and check the Dollar Tree up there next to his work, and see if they've got it and if they do then he's going to grab me um a few of those and i'll show you guys what he brings in good lord my glasses are dirty sorry squirrel moment i'm just now seeing this and the light's coming in and i'm like <laughs> i see spots <laughs> anyway so i still need that um, I, I did not think about it, but, um, I do need a tiny little bottle of spiced rum in order to make one of my recipes. So he's going to stop by the store and pick that up for me on his way home this evening. Fingers crossed. And that should do it. That's it. We're ready for Christmas. All I've got to do is put all the components together now. And we're ready. Yay. I sat down. I made my menu out. 
made sure that we had all the things that was on the menu and we're good we're golden and we've got food to get us through until after christmas i'm good y'all i am good so yay me if i need anything else again there is a small dollar general about two two and a half miles away i can run down there hopefully they might have what i need if i need anything and y'all that's it that is it and after this we will have one more is it one more week yeah one more week in the challenge and that's it we've made it <laughs> i'm so excited so excited yay and i can't wait to be able to go start stocking up again i have learned so many things this year about stocking my pantry and about the things that i want to have in my pantry and you know the changes that we've made y'all i can tell a difference if you you know like i was saying earlier in the video i can tell a difference between us eating homemade from scratch rather than eating out like ugh, it, it just i don't even have a taste for it anymore my body does not miss it and honestly it caused issues after eating lunch yesterday so yeah i can tell a difference i can tell a difference in a lot of different areas so and that's just from making changes from eating all the processed foods to eating all the homemade from scratch foods and i'm so glad we made that change i really am especially at our ages i'm just i'm glad we made the change i feel like we are doing a lot better than what we were before so there's that so thank you all for watching thank you all for being here if you have not hit that subscribe button yet be sure to do so on your way out aiden and i would love to have you as part of our youtube family and as always much love to each and every one of y'all y'all you're my heart you're my heart be blessed and we'll see y'all tomorrow bye y'all